Just wanted to do record, man. Got me some uh, new fish in. Caught a great deal on some albino bristle noses. So I'll see how that goes. Check them out. Get them acclimated. Let them float. Get them in a quarantine tank. And then they're probably going to be going in this one. Because I'm getting my flower holes out of their quarantine tank in a few. And they're going to be going into their big tank, their main tank. So, then, also, everybody about to feed y'all. Calm down. Calm it down. It ain't time to eat yet. Then I also got uh, some... Uh, I'll just show you. I also got a, uh, a one fin butcher. I was, this was actually given to me at my local pet store for free. You know, he said uh, they had the one fin, one of his uh, customers brought it back and decided that they didn't, uh, they didn't want him in his tank. So me, I said, hey, he'd be just fine with me. So I'm letting him float. He's gonna eventually go into quarantine with the bristle noses. And then after maybe about a, a week or two in quarantine, I'll make sure. Nah, it ain't gonna be no week, I'll tell you that right now. Not leaving them that long in quarantine. But about after a week of quarantine, I will have them in their new tank and I'll let y'all check them out. But just kind of going to give a little show of just the new things I just picked up. Should be fun. Oh, and here's my tank. My new tank with the sand in it. So far, so good. Getting it going, getting it filtered out. I'm gonna add on my other filters, start decorating it, and the sand looks lovely. So I just want to thank everybody for the great ideas. Pool filter sand, can't beat it. I'll probably get one more bag because the substrate's still a little lower than what I like. So I'll probably go buy another bag probably as soon as I get off this done with this video. Uh, we'll go from there. Got some more fish coming in too, so when I get these new fish coming in, we're gonna uh being nosy. Being nosy. Hmm? Being nosy. <laughs> so when I get the new fish in, I do a little I guess you do a um, do an unboxing. I've never done an unboxing before, so I guess I'll do a little unboxing to show what new fish I got. So alright y'all, that's about it. Uh thanks for watching. Like sub. Comment all that good stuff. Hey, I appreciate all y'all. Love y'all fish fam. Y'all the best. Y'all so helpful. This hobby right here, this is some of the best people in any type of hobby you can do is the fish hobby. So y'all keep doing what y'all do. Y'all keep supporting each other. I'm gonna keep supporting y'all. Love y'all tanks. Keep up the great work. Hashtag fish time fam. Y'all take it easy. What's up y'all? Got some more, oh shoot. Boy, these little fish there, they some milk. Got some more uh fish out in added to the uh, fish room. They're in the quarantine tank now. I moved out the uh the flower horns and the marble uh, uh core catfish and I went and got me some uh tilapia that's butter my uh uh butterfukians butterfink man I'm not gonna even try to butcher the name. So I'm pretty sure most of my regular fish keepers, they they probably know what, I, what I'm talking about, but I'm not about to butcher the name. But yeah, uh, this guy right here, not like him, he's not doing too hot from the looks of it. He looked like he was getting picked on in a bag or whatever. I, I'm going to keep an eye on him. Mm. See what he looks, for a young one, he looks gorgeous. I like him a lot like him a lot so those are my new little, little additions can't wait till those grow out nice and big and they're probably gonna be in uh i don't know by then i probably have a whole nother tank going because i seem to get start new tanks every day so by the time they get bigger and uh, i get them out the quarantine tank and ready to put some new fish in there I already have another tank set up for them, so I hope this guy makes it though. I, I, I he ain't looking too good. He might, if he's still alive tomorrow, I might be taking him back to my local 
pet store. I'm not liking him. But this is where my flower horns are now and the catfish along with the albino bristlenose plecos. So it's probably about seven maybe. I think it's about seven bristlenose, albino bristlenose plecos in here. And the three flower horns. This is the tank I just put the sand in. And my catfish, he should be in the back. Oh, he was in the back. He must have ran into his little cave. Yeah, it looks like he's in his little cave. So, uh, yep, he's in there. I'm pretty sure, I don't know if y'all can see that moving in. The, yep, they're his whiskers. There he go, come on out. People want to see you. Yeah. Well, there's a little look at him. He won't, he won't come all the way out. I'm not shocked though. If I was to feed him, he'd be out, but. But yep, this is their, their new home. Plenty, plenty room for them to swim around. Let them grow up nice and big. It's my uh, 75 gallon. And yet I still have one more little group of fish I want to show off that I got. But I probably won't be adding that to this video because that's part of the Vanistas project. And the Vanistas project is a whole nother set of playlists. So he gets his own video. So I just kind of want to show y'all the, the tilapia buttfish. I'm just say that tilapia buttfish because I don't know. Can't pronounce that word. Don't judge me, y'all. And uh, the flower horns in their new home with the sand. I like this sand. It's, Got a little dirty on me quick, just that fast and quick. But like I said, that's an algae. They just put an algae wafer in there for the plecos to eat on. And the plecos been pooping, so filters ain't had enough time to pick it up yet and stuff. So it'll get it eventually. Uh, probably do a water change tomorrow, skim the sand a little bit just to get it exactly how I want it. But there you go, y'all. This is the new tank, and these, thank you. No, these are the new fish. Like, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I 